In this video, we are going to explore three dynamic apps available in S4HANA, which provide new possibilities to analyze material values and quantities with the help of embedded analytics. Manage material valuations, material inventory values, balance summary, and material inventory values, line items. The app Manage Material Evaluations shows a comprehensive overview of valuation data for your materials for all currency types activated in Material Ledger. We have two currency types, company code currency, legal valuation, and group currency, group valuation. For each, you see the total value, the price, and the quantity. By selecting sales document, as an additional dimension, you can see which value is related to special sales order stocks and which to common stocks. By click on a stock item, you will see further valuation details, such as standard and periodic unit prices by periods, standard cost estimates when available, costing parameters, and other prices from Material Master. The Material Price Analysis, also known as CKM3 Report, can be directly called up from this app. Watch also our other video dedicated to Material Price Analysis to find out what has changed in S4HANA. A further useful feature of this app is the ability to perform mass actions, such as changing inventory prices, or releasing planned prices. In addition to the current valuation prices, all prices that are maintained in Material Master can be displayed in this report. For example, you can compare valuation prices with commercial prices or planned prices. You can upload new inventory prices for several materials or download all information for your local files. You can group and filter line items by any valuation related dimension. These options give you a maximum flexibility for inventory analysis. The second app, Material Inventory Values, Balance Summary, helps to analyze quantities and volumes of inventories for a certain key date. In our case, the 11th of May. This report is multidimensional, so you can slice and dice values and quantity in a similar way as in COPA reports. You can analyze your inventories according to various perspectives by grouping the dimensions in rows and columns. For any dimension, you can show their keys and names. You can filter and sort by them. And you can make any of the attributes visible in this report. Like in our example, segment and location attributes for profit centers. The values can be displayed in multiple currencies, given that these currencies have been activated for Material Ledger. By click on an item, you can jump to another app in Material Management or Material Ledger and perform an operation, for example, goods receipts for the selected material. The third app, Material Inventory Values, Line items will show you journal entries that affect the values of material inventories during a time period. You can sort them, for example, by material number, business transaction type, and posting date, and see the quantity and value flows for multiple materials.
Also, you can drag and drop here additional dimensions, rearrange them in columns or in rows until you achieve the perfect cut. This app can also be used to jump to another app and see the document flow related to certain goods issue. Here you can see the sales order and delivery documents related to the selected goods issue. From here you can either go to the original MM document or to journal entry in financial accounting.